there's one quarterback for Oklahoma that has kind of slipped through the cracks uh, and not talked about a lot. Me and Barry Trammell yesterday discussed a little bit about him. Today I'm going to try to go in-depth a little more about it. His name was Kerry Jackson, and I will tell you what all happened and uh, tell you, give you my two cents, and we're going to – I'm going to – Give you my opinion on Kerry. But first, let's start this party. Through 153 games, our record was Well, welcome to this episode of Sooner Legends Podcast. I'm your host, Mike the Legend, and we are at 251 subscribers. Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. I'm, I'm just ecstatic. I didn't think the channel would grow this much, but thank y'all every much, every so much. Uh, see, I'm so excited I can't talk. So if you're new to the channel, want you join the party with all of my 200 other 251 subscribers and uh hit that red subscriber button turn on your post notification bells that way you won't miss any of this content that i upload especially on the history of ou and uh their illustrious football program uh give me a like and if you don't mind, share the video because, as we always say, sharing is caring. Okay, I, I mentioned that the first of my video that me and Barry Trammell discussed the uh, probation era yesterday in in uh, my interview with him, and we talked just a, just a little bit about Kerry Jackson. Now, Kerry Jackson, uh, he was. Uh, supposed to be our starter for the 73 season. And uh, in 1972, uh, the NCAA made freshman players eligible to play in the uh, in competitive play. And in that 72 season, we seen, uh, as far as me and several others who subscribed to me, who is my age, we got to see freshman Joe Washington and Tinker Owens play, and. Uh, they was just scratching the surface. Well, uh, they recruited, and this is during the Chuck Fairbanks reign before he uh, got hired as the head coach of the New England Patriots. They had recruited two players out of Ball High School in Galveston, Texas. By the name, one of them was Kerry Jackson, and the other one was Mike Phillips. Uh, Kerry was around six foot one, around 220 ish, 230 ish. And uh, from what Barry Switzer said, that he was an electrifying quarterback to watch. And so they recruited him and Phillips out of uh, Ball High School in Galveston, Texas. Well, 72 ends. Now, Kerry got to come in for mop-up time uh, for uh, Dave Robertson, who was our quarterback in 72. So when we would get a substantial lead, Kerry would come in during mop-up play and, um, and get him some playing time. And he was... He was going to, he was well on his way to being an, uh, I'm, uh, he, he, he was going to be such a great quarterback for us. And also he was going to be our first 
quarterback of color. And uh, so when during, during our uh, non-conference games, which at, in that 72 season, uh, we had four non-con games and we routed Utah State, Oregon, Clemson, and Texas. Jackson was the third leading rusher on that team with uh, 286 yards on 44 carries as a quarterback. And uh, which Greg Pruitt led that season with 300, 316 yards. So, and also Barry, Barry Switzer stated that uh, uh, Kerry was supposed to be the starting quarterback and not Steve Davis. Now, that's not throwing any shade at Steve because Steve uh, led us to back-to-back -back national championships in 74 and 75 and was 32-1-1 one and one in, in those, uh, in those uh, years he played. But uh, we got put on probation. At the end of the 72 season, it come to find out that uh, Mike Phillips and uh, Kerry Jackson's transcripts were altered by the high school and a coach at OU who was fired. I can't remember his name. Our probation started in 73. We, we did get to be on TV twice during the 73 season. Uh, I think it was Texas and Nebraska, but we couldn't go to a bowl game. And then in 74 and 75, no, no bowl games, no TV. So, but what, what would have, what would have been had all, had all, all that not taken place? Well, let me tell you from what I've seen from Kerry Jackson, he was, he had the he had the frame, the build, the height. Uh, I feel in my own heart had all the the probation and all that wouldn't have been slammed down on us. I feel that Kerry Jackson would probably have went on to probably be the best wishbone quarterback we had during the Switzer era. And that's including Jack Milder. Now, Kerry could throw the ball, but he, I don't think it was more or less accuracy issues. He just threw the ball so flipping hard. I mean, he could chunk it and zip, oh, sting you. So he had a, he had control issues. But from what I've seen out of Kerry in those mop up times for OU, he, he was, he was fun to watch. Very, very fun to watch. And, uh, of course, uh, they ruled uh, Mike and uh, Kerry ineligible for the 73 season. And so, uh, according to uh, reports on uh, Kerry was going to see his mama, and uh, he got in a car, car accident, and uh, he injured his upper sternum and all that. So, but he did back up Steve Davis for the 74 season. And uh, he just, I felt bad for, for Kerry because he was, he was going to be a shining star. No doubt about it. No doubt about it in my mind that, that he was. But like I said, I'm not, I'm not throwing any shade at Steve Davis at all. Uh, but according to uh, according to uh, uh, Steve Davis and Kerry, that both of them got along. They there wasn't no animosity between the two because of what happened. And according to Kerry, he didn't he didn't know about all that uh, transcript tampering that was going on behind his back. So. It was it was unbeknownst to him, and uh, so he uh, 
I just feel he would have been he'd have been up there with the greats. And he was just so elect and unfortunately that probation happened. And uh so there's my two cents on it, guys. Y'all hop down in the comments. Tell me what you think. Uh I appreciate y'all tuning in. Hit me up in the comments. I love talking to talking to y'all. Love love chopping it up. Love love in uh course and discourse with y'all. Negative, positive, don't matter. Get in my comments and and uh tell the old legend what you think. And as always, take care of yourself. Be nice to one another. God bless. This is the legend. We'll see you on the backside. Through 153 games, our record was 125, 24, Ooh. 4, 2, that's ah!